Epic, hey, welcome everybody, welcome to Artsaboot TV 129, where we, of course, are going to be, shit, that, this still needs to be fixed, uh, quick, quick, before I forget again, no, that's not how you fix it, um, flip vertical, cool, almost, I mean, a bit. Yeah, it's fine. Really fine. Um, so we're going to be playing Nate Kami. If you haven't gathered that already, somehow. Uh, so yeah, let me just put a thing in front of my door that just tells people, do not disturb this fucking cunt. And I'll be right back. Because I forgot. Now I'm a dumb cunt. Okay, there it is. Good. Now, if I can set this up correctly, which is really, really important for this, um, I should get Ogami on screen for your viewing this pleasure. Okay. Come on. Whoops. What's going on? Work you piece of shit. Come on. There you can. And great. It's a thing. Now we can actually play it, Kami. Uh, I am also doing a new thing, which is restreaming using this uh, website called uh, Restream.io, I think. So I'm um, streaming at the same time on three different platforms, Hitbox, Twitch, and Beam. So that in turn should make it that I sort of, you know, have people to talk through from all three platforms. It's going to be weird. But my main place is going to be Twitch for the foreseeable future, but I just want to try, you know, having this thing. It also has this pretty nice uh, fucking chat app, which allows you to gather Ooh, that all... That was kind of nice. Oh, it's Ted. Oh, that's very cool. Thanks, mate. Oh, yeah. I got all the three chats in one. And I can reply individually or whatever. It's cool. So, oh yeah, and the chat that's up here is, I think, just Twitch chat. So, you're going to have to bear with that. Get this out of fucking here. I got to see this. Yeah, you got it. Fuck yeah. Please don't beat this. Talk with digital. Clover. Oh my ears. Ah, my ears. No. Stop. Ah. That was bad. That was... That was bad. Let, let, let's try that again. Um... Why is this in display mode? I'm totally not using an emulator. <laughs> it's completely legal. No. Oh. Going on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Change video mode. Yeah. Done. Right. It's happening. Almost. It's gonna happen. 
it's in full crisp HD now. 60 hertz, 60 FPS. You know what happened? Clover. Still fucking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now we're okay. Uh, change made. Yep. Okay. Now we got to. New game! In full Dolby Digital. Yeah, of course it is. Just. That's wrong. Doesn't matter. It's okay. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Long, long ago, Tony Howard found Kamiki Lane. Oh, uh, Kamiki Lane nested in a grove of. Lane. Proud and beautiful cherry blossom. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honoured as a god. However, the village was not without its stark secrets. Ooh, spooky. Satiate the appetite of a burrow tree, a fearsome cave dwelling beast. A young lady was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. <laughs> With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, this blood red eye one. <laughs> this blood red eyes one, alone. Fuck. Reading. Hard. Its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey this horrific beast. Yeah. I heard a funny thing about, uh, about the voice acting. Uh, it's it's actually actually voice acted, but they sort of reverse the sound and digitize it so it sounds even worse. Which is, you know, why? I guess they couldn't get it to be Japanese. So, okay. Ah. Uh, Gotta disable Facebook sounds because I'm an actual professional. Maybe get that over here. Do that. Great. Everything should be fine now. Good. A mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Sh Shiro. They couldn't get high school idol Hanukkah, so. Yeah. I wouldn't know who that was. I suppose she's a pretty one. According to your taste. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village <laughs> and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. They really chopped the text in the most inopportune moment, but I guess, uh. Appears to have it limit its limitations. <laughs> People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. Bonaju <laughs> took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shirano. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shirano's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A, wh a white plummet 
Ah, uh, I wanted plummet. Plummet. What's plummet? Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, shit. Ah. Shit, it's not helping me. Fuck. Plummet. Spread out in shape resembling a feather. The more you know. Ah. A white plum arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Bucket. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to what she wants and for all, Nagi travelled to the beast cave in place of his beloved. The moon cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. The family stood bravely before the entrance. The beast appeared, eyes glowing, crimson upon eight flashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Now he leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left Nary as words N A R Nary Define Nary Informal or dialect form of not words Piece of towel is killing me. A long last Nagi, his engine spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and grasping for breath. He was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiranui, the wolf that dwelt outside the village. Bringing its fearsome claws, bearing its fearsome claws, Shiranui leapt. Orochi, I'm so bad. Ah, uh, Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, crashing into the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying. The spectacle continued. Turning his sun, guts of divi gusts of <laughs> divine wind, guts of divine wind, just in entrails and fucking <laughs> organs flying through the air. Turning <laughs> summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orgy's frames. Orgy's frames? No, he was a Twitch streamer and he counted. <laughs> Guts of wind. <coughs> it's going to be hilarious if there's more text. And there is! As one two closed in on Shiranori, sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiranui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily mested. Shiranui covered in gashes, covered in gashes, but just coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Ah. Uh, which you saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow. But Shunui refused to give in with his last ounce of strength. The majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. <laughs> The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope.
Guided by his sword, Nami, who had been taking shelter in the back, shattered, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all his strength into his sacred and battered arms, scarred and battered, but not his sacred arms, blessed with godly fucking strength. <clears throat> Clip ferociously sword Orchi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orchi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Ah. Orchi's broken body collapsed in the lake of its own blood. At that instant, the curse that had plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Chunli had succumbed to Orchi's poison and struggled to breathe. Now he scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. Oh, you know that. When they reached the village, Shirinoe was no longer moving. The village had gently struck the wolf's head. In response, Shirinoe let out a horse and <laughs> piffled by. Then closed its eyes and drifted off. Slumber. Peace at last returned to Kamiki village. Gnome, in honor of Shunui's heroic exploits, the villagers pour themselves a glass of water. Erect a new shrine and place a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi sword. Christian. Ah? Tsukiyomi. Good. Place it inside the main cave. The villagers all looked forward to the end of Aegis peace. However, this is not the end of the story. Who would have guessed? I thought the game would end already. Um, there is more to this tale than most people know. Hundred years had passed since Snacky and Shirinui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Is this the legendary sword? Is this <coughs> Takayomi? <laughs> the sword that banished the treasure Orochi? This is not the end. <laughs> I still have two seats with my ass. Eh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Imagine if all PS2 games had DLC. Just like additional discs you could buy from the shop. Just stack together and put or maybe even on a flash drive because the PS2 had you know USB ports. Just get a lot of flash drives and put them in. Otherwise the game wouldn't work. No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy tale.
A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The town settlement of the wonderful village enjoyed the protection of a sacred being. It is here that the real story begins. Sakia. Don't trouble some. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? You must act quickly. There is no time to lose. Everybody has a slightly British accent in this game, even though it's set in feudal Japan. My power has diminished over the years. I have spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. And everybody speaks incredibly slowly like the part of a vaporwave band. Just with small spaces in between each word. I'm not Tarasu. Now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Turn your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as your guide us all. Kamiyamaterasu! <laughs> i.e. the great sun god. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is Amaterasu. <laughs> and delightful to see that the survivor whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so, so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. <laughs> dot 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 dot. <laughs> Amaterasu. Gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Yes, gaze above you and gaze upon the condition of the sky. <laughs> Since you are timely departure from our midst, the Lord has succumbed. The devious and vicious beast. Devious and vicious beast. Bah. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon or Japan. But never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who do us harm. Huh? Hey, what is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? Giggity. <laughs> oh, hello, I'm Father Christmas. <laughs> hey. What on earth? The best character. You again. Oh, bloody hell. Are you nuts? Boy, the little thing. 
You should make a big fuss. It was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. I'm napping in my clothes again, Bug. Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isu! Are you the best character in the game? I should just how great I am. I may be long to be bowing before my great brother. Very fine pawn you've got there. Well, what do you think? Even cooler than the real thing, right? Swifty Virgo. Look kind of down and don't. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You just look like that statue of Shiranoi. Whoa, what do you think you're doing? Hey, crazy. Handsome guy like me should never be covered in wool slobber. You regret messing with the great Isu. Don't make me use my prized sword. Denko Maru against you. 